Not my problem. Get the hell out of my house, you old bent. What was that about? What's become of me in me elder years? Refused a roof over me head by a common churl. I was born a noble's daughter. My brother and I, we managed the manor for years. What happened to him? A caller came one day. A drifter, a hunter. It wasn't long before we fell in love and wed. We prepared to leave the manor. My brother, he took offence, refused to bid me farewell. Years on I returned, but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. I could take care of those monsters for you. Mm. You're a witcher, right? No ordinary man would be so eager. Don't fret. It's all the same to me, provided you're honest. The house is east of here. Take this key. Once you've driven off the beasts, look for a chest. My treasure. Savings, really. They're yours. What'll that leave you with? A roof over my head is all I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I could never let you go without honest pay. Gods keep you. for brushwood yesterday. Ah! Dum, da, dum, 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 ding, da, 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 mm. da, da, watch it, you clod. Riddle <laughs> string, <laughs> me ghostly laddie dance. Let's go! For all of stolen coppers three, a great feast tonight will be. They'd have eaten me alive for certain. The corpses must have drawn them. Thank you for not leaving me there. Seems luck's with me at times after all. Luck? Guess things could be worse. You get infected recently? That why you haul corpses? What? No, it's my job. Well paid too. <laughs> Thing is, you're not a witcher or a mage, so you're not immune. I'm no foul mutant, thank the gods. But no worries, eh? It's just, well, no illness ever holds me. How did this happen? Axel snapped first. So, I poked me in underneath, see if I could fix it. Then out of the blue, a howl from the woods. My mare reared as if a wolf had already clinched her hind. The cat tipped and whoa, the cargo fell right on top of me. Your horse ran off. Aye, damn thing bolted. Ain't that my luck. If it don't rain, a wagon of stiffs pours on me head.
Gonna need a new cart. Gotta burn this one soon. Can I just bury the stiff somewhere near? Cart's still fit for fixing. Anyone learns you carried plague victims in it, no one will ever hire you again. Why would they need to learn? I won't tell if you don't. And you'll spread the pox for miles around. Oh, needs must, I suppose. Got anything to start a fire with? Winds howling. Well, well, lit up like a bale of straw. Am I ever lucky I ran into ye? Thanks for your help and wise counsel. Here's some more. Go home, burn those clothes, and scrub yourself thoroughly. Yo, sure, sure, but I'll tell you true, no blight could touch me. Sure hope so. Farewell. Fuck it out, that stinks. Move it! Save your gold or I'm begging bandits! Come on! Hmm, <laughs> a tripwire. Never known a monster to set a trap. Someone's here. Problem solved. Traps everywhere. Gotta be careful. to worry about. Movement. Ought to keep my ears open. Rustling. Over there. Hmm. Look like twins. Old woman's brother. Must be. Tripwire. Something's not right.
Problem solved. <laughs> A tripwire. <laughs> A sort of attic. Gotta get up there somehow. It'd be just long enough to reach that upper level. Let's see what's up there. Bravo, Geralt. Avoided all my traps. Letho. Yeah, didn't expect to see you either. You one of them? Who's them? To the Emperor, mercenaries. To themselves, bounty hunters. To me, ordinary sons of bitches. Well, got nothing to fear from me. Took a job from an old woman. Supposed to get rid of the monsters here. Did that already. Count on you remembering that when you collect your pay. Hiding in a place overrun by monsters. Good idea. Means people don't wander in by accident. And the ones who come on purpose. Well, I'm prepared for them. Assassins? Emperor just decided to get rid of me. I'm an inconvenient witness after all. I've run into loads of men out to kill me ever since I left Loch Nguyen. Now I understand all the traps. Gotten real careful. For good reason. Don't look a bit like lost travelers. They're not. Means Lewis sold me out. Lewis? Old friend, kinda. Did a few jobs together once, a while past. Lewis recommended this place to me. You've grown careless. Let yourself be drawn into a trap. Nah. Only traps here are the ones I set. Gotta get rid of them. Coming? Lead the way. We got a plan of attack? Yeah, improvise. Goddamn fools. Shoddily armed for assassins. They're just scats. Came to see if Lewis was telling the truth. Rest must be waiting nearby. And your old pal probably knows where. He was the only one knew I'd be here. Must have told him. Think me and him are due for a little chat. Hmm. <laughs> Could be interesting. Love to see it. Come along. Sighted two witches should loosen his tongue that much quicker. Stay close to me. It's one of those places that's hard to find if you don't know where to look. This Lewis. Somehow doubt he's one of your best friends. You know how it is in this trade. Drink with someone in the evening, check if he's robbed you in the morning. How'd you meet? Was before Faltas kissed this world goodbye. Lewis was a wanted man in Edirn. Hefty bounty on his head and normal contracts were hard to come by. So I decided to catch the bastard and make some coin. Tracking him down proved easier than killing a drowner. He was, uh, merry-making at the Golden Hanged Man. Smack in the middle of Hag. Nabbed him, tied him up, but the guard post didn't open till dawn. 
So we had a few hours. Started talking, killing time. Chat was so nice that once dawn came, I let him go. And that's why you trusted him? Felt he owed you one? I was stupid. Stupidity can cost you. But betrayal costs even more. Greetings. Good to see you, alive and well. Oh, yeah? Course! <laughs> We're old mates, ain't we? Who's your friend? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Another one? What's this? Prime contract available in the area? Sit down. Care for a drink? I don't drink with traitors and rats. Whoa, let's be civil now. Remember, you're on my turf. Arno Vesta's men showed up at the manor. You were the only one knew I was there. They've been nipping at your heels for a while. Said so yourself. Perhaps they finally caught a whiff. Hmm. With your help. You've not been here five minutes, and already you've offended me twice. No insult worthy of scum like you. Careful, men! They're witches! Witches don't attack humans! Make an exception for you. Lie still or you'll bleed to death. Tell me where Vesta's men are. I'll give you something to staunch the bleeding. <laughs> They're north of here. Uh, in Linden Vale. I'm curious. How much does the life of an old mate get you these days? Sinks. Sinks been shy of late. And we fell afoul of the Black Ones. Vesta showed up one day, offered half of the bounty on your head, and a letter of absolution from the Emperor. You gotta understand, you don't say no to an offer like that. I understand. Hey! My medicine! Gotta understand, Lewis. You don't betray men like me. Time to see Vester. Going with you. Horses! This rabid dog's here! They'll eat me alive! Have mercy! Arno Vester. Elf Guardian name. From Metner, I think. But he's hunted and killed everywhere from the far south to the Dragon Mountains. Why have I never heard of him? Goon goes by different names. Brandon Vilf, Apple Saxon, Manfred Wimplebottoms. Manfred Wimplebottoms? Good name for a clown. Once he's done in, sure we're laughing. Preferred method? Rip the teeth, keep your eyes open. Think they're really here? Don't know. But like I said, I've grown real careful. Nice mounts. Gotta be worth more than the entire village. Whoa!
what's in the barn. Hey! Got company? Run and find your parents. Tell them to grab whatever's valuable, take you and flee. Got it? Good. Give this to your mother. Now run. What was that? Compensation. Stay here and don't interfere, no matter what happens. Plug your ears. or something shut up all of you letho of gullet good to see you alive and well funny second time today i've heard that lie it is no lie you will certainly fetch a higher bounty alive Really? How much? Enough to buy me an estate in Kavir, where I will lie about eating fruit till the end of my days. Not bad. Not every man gets to know the price on his hand. Most men would prefer not to have one. But why have you come? To make my life easier? We were passing by. Decided it was time to finally meet the famous Arno Vester in person. I am flattered. Shame we'll not get to know one another better. Why? Going somewhere? No. Simply because I will kill you in a moment. Wanna kill me, but you don't even know me. Not nice. Think I have to punish you for that. But I won't kill you. I'll just cut off your hands. Cut off all your hands. One man after the other. Till the end of your days. Those stumps will remind you of the mistake you made. Bloody hell. You fucking dimwit. I hadn't time to exchange two words with the man. He provoked me! We have no quarrel with you, but one false move and... And what? You will end like him. What say you to that? What do I say? Simple. You're as good as dead. Too late to surrender. fishy. Still here? <laughs> They'd have cut your head off if I hadn't been here. Hmm. 
So you proved useful after all. Could have told me. <laughs> no fun in that. Find this amusing? Not so loud, Geralt. I just rose from the dead. Zangwebarian venom could still kill you, you know. Got the antidote? Hmm. Saddlebag. Take it in a minute. Couple of days I'll be like new. What was it for, that whole farce? Told you. I'd been on the run since Loch Muin. Loads of pursuers. Got ambushed once, almost died. So I decided it was time to end it. Once and for all. Found Vesto's gang and paid off his arbalist. You just witnessed the rest of the story. What about Lewis? Was he part of this plan? Nah, a minor complication. Though his betrayal, it did get me thinking. But I had to risk it. If you hadn't cut down every last witness, I'd be a free man. Letho of Gullet is dead. Word of that would have spread across the continent in days. Wouldn't have done it if you'd let me in on your plan. Told you not to get involved. Well, my plan's in shambles. I should really disappear. Hmm. You could wait things out at Kaer Morhen. With your friends from the School of the Wolf? Huh. <laughs> no thanks. Could end badly. Tell them I sent you. They'll understand, give you space. Kaer Morhen, you say? Hmm. Why not? Got some loose ends to tie up. But then I'll head there. Help you somehow? Need anything? No thanks. I'll be fine. So, see you at Kaer Morhen. See you, Wolf. Isn't easy, not at all.